you forgot to remember me. Come on now. I'm waiting for this one. How you doing? World to me. How are you guys? Good. Yeah, how are you? Good. Congrats on your Tribeca premiere and Thank season you. two. Thank you Thank so what much. What was it like to have a time jump into senior year and then realize that Jason and Crystal aren't as close as they used to be? It was very interesting. I'm going to speak first because when I got the script, I was like, oh, so this is what we're doing? Like, I low key wanted to have beef. But then I was like, I see the vision. I see the vision. <laughs> I see where we're going. It's okay. It's cool. I'm fine. No beef. You know what I mean? But yeah. What do you think? What do you think about season two? I mean, I probably around the same vibe as you. Uh, it was like, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a medium between excited and like, whoa, what are whoa. we about to do? You know, and um, you Happy know. Happy medium. You know, it turned. It all worked out for the best. Yeah. Yes. Do you feel like their motivation and drive tears them apart, or kind of makes them the perfect match? At first, it looks like it's tearing them apart, but you know, when problems come to the play, it's like we gotta lean in on that foundation. Um, you know, the people that just you know, Jace has to retrace his steps and say, look, like. I'm going. I'm going to protect you, no matter what. So mm -hmm. that's that's what it is. I think personally, I think they drifted apart because they were so young, and there was, you know, that's young puppy love. Like she it lying. just. I'm not lying. She lying. She lying. She I didn't shake off. my. I didn't shake dude. my head when you was talking. No, nah, she's lying. <laughs> she's lying. <laughs> no, nah, but I really, hey, do, uh, I really do think they just drifted apart because. I mean, life, like, everybody has their own path. Right. And in reference to the maze, like, who knows what turns they made, and they probably just got lost a little bit. So What's our, we just got to see where they end up. Right. What's our quote now? Life be life in. Life be life in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And it's funny because Crystal has that love and basketball poster in her room, oh, and the relationship yes. is similar. And Reggie's wife directed the movie. It's yes. funny, like, the yes. very subtle you, similarity. And my <laughs> acting coach... Is Sanai Latham's yeah. acting coach, her first acting coach on <laughs> Love and Basketball. So I had to lean in with her today. I mean, this year, for sure. That's crazy. Crevesion, mm -hmm. you had talked about in season one, you did method acting. Mm -hmm. How did Crystal has a completely different energy now? Mm -hmm. how, was, how did you kind of approach that as an actress? I definitely had to spend a lot of time in the gym and getting my swagger back, my crystal swagger. Like, that's a whole different, like, confidence. Um, and it honestly helped me going through, you know, adults and life be life. And so I, I just, I love channeling her. Um, anytime I channel her, I feel like a boss. So. Right. Yeah. Isaiah, um, so Jace has his saying, NBA, never be afraid. He had like his year that he was trying to not say can't. He only lasted a month. What are kind of your Isaiah motiv motivational sayings that kind of navigate you through this like new career and life that you're exploring? Right. This is a, <laughs> yeah, man. That's one. You want to tell him? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> want to nah, tell him another one? We, we talk telepathically, but boom. Right now, my favorite one is run your race. You know, um, run your race. Um, I didn't know what I was getting into the first year. I didn't know how to answer every question. I had some imposter syndrome because I'm not like 6'11 like KD. And, you know, I went through all the realest things you could go through. And, you know, this year I was just comforted by my castmates, you know, especially Q, Orlando Jones, Mac Wilds, Christopher B. Duncan joined us this year. Like these are all OGs and mentors that I, I, I'm able to grow with. Reggie Rock Bythewood, so you know, uh, especially. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was just, just run your race, run your race. That um, that's what they all tell me. Yes. And what was your favorite scene this season for both of you? kind of hard to tell you without spoiling without the show. So honestly, any scene that I had with Isaiah in this season, the best way I can put it. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm being honest. Like, you don't make me cry. 
cry then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, but no, I, it was just, it was always something like, I don't know. It was just crazy to have scenes with him. Um, and you'll know when you watch it and you'll understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. And also being that my mom and my brother were on set with me a lot too. Like being around them and having them in my corner and trying to sneak them in and all types of Yo, stuff. Yo, yes. The background this year really added to mm -hmm. our, you know, our atmosphere and we had family in the background mm -hmm. and, um, you know, every scene was just amazing. I, I had fun shooting every scene. Uh, like, Reggie threw so much at me and I'm just so blessed to have, like, an OG like that that just knows, you know, my potential and he believes in me more than I believe in myself. So, like, and so does Q. So, it's like, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing to be a part of. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to me again. Okay. We will do this again. I know it. Yes. So congrats again. Congrats on this season. Thank and I'll talk so. to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> no problem.